Welcome back to the shipyard. We have discovered some more cheese that must return to sickbay, this time in the form of Romulan captains. Yeah, I don't know about you, but when I think about Romulan captains, eh, not, not that many. So, let's fix them. Shinzon. Let's start with the big one. Skill 9. You know, that, that's always a good thing. Six points for that. Fine. Shinzon brings a talent. And instead of buying a talent, you spend four points to put four Romulan talents face down and then pick the one you want. Um, <clears throat> the problem here is that you're then essentially spending ten points on Shinzon. And I think that the issue here is twofold. One, Romulan talents are not fantastic. There's no like super duper standout Romulan elite talent, but that's a different episode uh, of why that's a big problem. The second thing here is four points is just too expensive. Like, yes, I get it. Um, you got to pay something for this, but Shinzon has no other benefit to to him other than bringing this talent, and he should not have to pay four points just to do that. So I say, let's just make it part of his ability. Let's get rid of the spin four points, and that's what Shinzon does. Um, now. Bringing four talents is probably too good for a include ability. So let's knock it down to three talents. That's a little less flexibility, but I think that gives you a reason to want to run Shinzon. Now the other thing is, I think Shinzon needs something to complement his military strategy. Yes, that's the word I'm using uh, to go with his exploits during the Dominion War. And yes, I know we didn't see those on screen, but I'm going to say that he should get to convert, uh, when defending, convert a blank into an evade. I, th I think that's uh, a viable option. If you want, make that a when defending while cloaked then do that. Okay? Now, balance. Make him a seven-point captain. Then I think he's actually viable. He's expensive, but he does a lot of good stuff, and I'm willing to pay that for a decent ability. Okay. Tomalock. The first Tomalock we get here. This is the skill eight tech slot Tomalock. Um... I actually don't mind this Tomalock. I, I think this is uh, viable. But I think they got the ability wrong to make him win attacking, and he should be win defending. Um, and so he should be able to reroll one defense die for each tech upgrade equipped to his ship. Uh, if you do that, now you've got a really good defensive captain. Uh, based on tech, sure. But, um, yeah, actually, you know what? Why not win attacking or defending? Now we actually have something. Because rerolls are not fantastic in and of themselves. They're good. Don't get me wrong. They're good. But I think the, a little bit more rerolls don't hurt. So why not both? All right. Romulan Commander. Um, I do like the ability here. Uh, being able to attack first is good, but let's get rid of the action. Just start a combat phase. You may decide to attack first, but if you do, you have to take an ox power token. And because you're not spending an action, I think this also needs to be, uh, you attack with either one less attack die that's an option. I think it's a bad option, but it's an option. Or 
Um, maybe we put two time tokens on the captain just so you can't do it every single round. I, I think that could work too. So, uh, some options. I would probably stick with the two time tokens or even three time tokens if you want. But, uh, yeah, Romulan Commander, viable. But, uh, boy, his double tech or double talent slot may just makes me want better Romulan elite talents. Alador Jarok. Um, again, I, I like this ability. I did a whole card of the week episode on Alador Jarok. Um, I think this card works. Just a little too expensive. Knock him down to cost four, and I think you've got a viable captain that does something very different, and uh, and that's good. So I'm not going to change anything about Jarok except his cost. All right, another version of Jarok. Um, yeah, for for the action to discard your talent, uh, you should still get to attack, and they should lose their attack. Uh, that's that's my fix. Keep everything else the same about him, but uh, there's no way that you should be losing your attack for all of that. Um, Toreth, I I'm okay with Toreth. Um, more so, what I would like here is uh, let's change the timing here and make it. Um, or, not the timing, let's add a sentence. This crit cannot be cancelled. So that you're guaranteed to do one damage. And I think that makes her better. Uh, I still don't know that that makes her amazing, but I think that makes her better. Uh, also, just to clean her up, I'd get rid of the May convert and just make her, when attacking, bold, uh, convert one hit into a crit. Because there's no point in time when you don't want a crit, except for Borg Feedback Pulse. But really, who's running that? Sila. This should not be an action. This should just be a static ability um, that ships can't scan or use battle station tokens against your ship. Plain and simple. Uh, but yeah, that's not an action anyone's ever going to take. But if it's a static ability, then she has some prowess as the head of the tall Shi'ar, as whatever it is that she's doing. Sorry, beta cannon creeps in there every once in a while. Um, but I like her as that kind of, I'm too powerful for this, you can't mess with me. Um, so yeah, get rid of the action, she's good. Uh, Laris is fantastic, works exactly uh, as he should, is the perfect example of a great Romulan captain that everyone wants to run. So we're good there. Um, Saran. Um... Saran is just not an action that I ever want to take. So how do we fix Saran? We need to make Saran not an action. And instead, um, let's make him, if you are within range one of a friendly Romulan ship, uh, set one of your attack dice on the result of your choice. This die cannot be rolled or rerolled. Sure. Then we're putting a little constraint on it. Needs to be with Romulans. But, um, yeah. Still gives them the benefit. Uh, and get rid of this round. Just when attacking, during the roll attack die step, bada boom, bada bing. Okay. Uh, another Alador Jarok. <coughs> I just, again, it's not an action worth taking. Targeting a ship to remove a token, you're, it's it's action-reaction. And I think that for an action, it needs to be better. 
So, um, how about Steel? Alador Jarok was a manipulative Romulan. And so I'd say target a ship within range one and steal one token. Limit it now to evade scan battle station from beside that ship. So you can't remove a target lock that way. But I think it still works. Uh, yes, I, I understand that that cuts out one more way of removing target locks. But I like the steel idea. And... Yeah, I think that can that can work out in in his favor. Um, we'll go with the idea. Um, Mendak. Mendak, uh, I I love the concept targeting a ship to give him battle station token, but I think he needs to target two ships. Um, so I would say target two friendly ships at range one to two, including your own, that have no battle station tokens uh, besides them, and place a battle station token beside each ship. And the target ships cannot perform battle station actions. Again, that's not fantastic, but we already have that Klingon ship that gives out battle station tokens to every ship in the fleet. So Mendak doing that for two ships so maybe Mendak needs to be target all friendly ships at range one maybe it's just range one maybe it's range one to two maybe it's all cloaked friendly ships I think there's a lot of play here uh, but I think at minimum he needs to be two ships uh, we could go with all friendly cloaked ships I wouldn't necessarily go more than that I'm fine keeping him Romulan only um but yeah, beyond that, I don't want to mess more than that. Um, Valdor. Uh, Let's stick with the theme here. Discarding tech to gain attack dice. So I don't want to discard my tech because Romulan tech's actually good. Uh, so instead, how about disable my tech? Or how about place time tokens? How about place... Um, three time tokens on one of my tech upgrades to gain plus one attack die. It's not great. Um, but at least I will still have my tech. Valdor just needs, needs more punch. Um, he needs a conversion in there too. Because Romulans lack conversions. Um, so we need a bar underneath Valdor. Um, if, uh, when attacking, if two or more of your tech upgrades have, or are disabled or have time tokens on them, uh, place a battle station token beside your ship. Mm, no, that's a lot of that's a way to get a lot of battle station tokens. Scratch that. Um, you may re-roll any of your dice. Yeah, then it's a one-time target lock each time you attack. That's fine, and it's feeding into that ability, but it doesn't always give you the ability. I think that could work. Uh, Liviana Charvenek. Uh, I like the ability to save your crew, but... Um, this one's just a mess. So... I think at the very least you need to roll two defense dice to save your crew. So whenever one of your crew upgrades is supposed to be disabled or discarded... Roll two defense dice. If you roll at least one battle station result, that upgrade is not disabled or discarded. Um, yeah. And keep the rest. 
Um, I would probably add in, if you are successful, place two time tokens on that upgrade instead. Because now we're more likely to keep it. The crew should be um, a little traumatized by go going through whatever they've gone through, but then you'll get them back uh, at some point. So I think she's she can balance it that way. Latent. Um, I'd get rid of each round. Just win defending. You may force... Win defending... Your opponent must re-roll one of their crit results. How about not even re-roll? How about convert one of their crits to a blank? Or not even that. When defending, cancel one crit result. And just crit. Yeah. I like that. Uh, Denatra, Denatra works as is, so we're not going to mess with Denatra. She's still really good. Um, Terrace. Um, I like Terrace. Um, the only, th I do two things with Terrace. One, let her add a crew slot and two, um, knock her down to three points. So that way Terrace brings a crew slot with her and so she has a crew and then yeah a little cheaper so Terra's nice idea used her a few times like her uh Velal, just not an action just each time you defend this round you may choose to roll two less defense dice if you do so add one evade result to your roll um, and knock Velal down to a two-point captain. Simple. Uh, Raycar, uh, when attacking with secondary weapon. Um, yeah, Raycar works um, very limited. Uh, so let Raycar add a weapon slot. That way you have another weapon in there. Uh, I mean, it works for Sakona, so why not? Um, Viceroy... Viceroy is just messy. Um, I would change Viceroy to be able to look at a, a ship within range 1 to 2. Or Viceroy needs to like take an action to plant the mission token on a crew uh, within range 1 to 3. And then can... Uh, during the planning phase can discard the mission token from that crew to look at the maneuver dial at any point because that's more representative of the psychic connection or the telepathic connection that the Viceroy had with Deanna Troy or then Troy had with the Viceroy. Um, I, th I think that could be even more thematic. So you got to be within range, let's say range one to two to plant the mission tokens and then later, he can discard him to do the rest of this ability. Uh, Salatrel. Uh, so the bad part about Salatrel, or Salatrel, is that skill 10 is just not enough. Um, so let's make it skill 12. And skill 12 gives you enough or maybe skill 11 but yeah i i'm willing to bump salatral up just to compensate for the way the game's changed and evolved around it but um yeah i i think salatral is is okay as is um I do want to have something that happens if something else, um, if a ship that factions in your forward firing arc, um, like I feel like there needs to be a little bit more. Maybe it's if two ships of that faction are in your forward firing arc, um, place an evade token beside your ship, get a free action, like 
at the start of the combat phase if two ships of that faction are in your forward firing arc uh, get a free action I don't know that's that's something all right um Valdor this version of Valdor is perfectly good uh, if your ship's not in the target ships forward firing arc get an extra attack die um, I just knocked him down to two points but that's a viable version of Valdor um, the captain version of Admiral Sharvanek also perfectly viable um, Movar I like what was happening here but Again, I just want to say, why not just add? Why not just add a slot of your choice? That's just a better version, and that's why Calvin Hudson is a better captain than Movar. So why not just let Movar add a slot of choice and we'll say discount... Uh, discount upgrades for two points or something so discount one upgrade by a point or by two points the movar is not doing a ton but maybe one point because the slot's got to be worth something so yeah i think that could work uh tal um Tal is okay, but just not not good, not bad. Tal is situational. Tal's mission playable, um, but Tal's overpriced. Four skill, two points. Um, but Tal does work there. Um, this version of Miroc, um, also viable, um, and I like it. I ran Miroc a fair bit in the very early games, back when it was the starter in Wave Zero. And I like Miroc. Um, I don't think anything needs to happen to Miroc. Um, but Miroc would be such a better Federation captain than a Romulan captain. Um, yeah. I don't know. Uh, Telak Ramor. Just... Uh, I think it doesn't... Telek Remor doesn't need to be roll plus one defense die. It needs to be uh, convert one blank into an evade. Uh, or maybe convert one defense die into an evade. Or maybe it's set one defense die to an evade. Something like that. Something that guarantees it. Um, and I think that would help. Uh... You could go extreme with Ramor and say uh, for each scan token beside your ship, you may re-roll a defense die. That would make him a really good Vulcan captain. Uh, Lovok, um, you can re-roll all of your blanks. Um, I'd get rid of this place an ox power token. That's what's holding Lovok back and his skill, but... Just reroll all of your blank results. Why not? Tal Shiar isn't a fantastic talent, but it's not a bad one. Um, Tomalok just... Eh. When firing at range 3, the opposing ship does not roll an extra defense die. Like, really? That's the best that could happen? That's not a Tomalok ability. I would say it's when firing at range 3, the opposing ship does not get an extra defense die and you gain an extra attack die. Something like that. That would be a play for Tomalok. Uh, Tabok. Uh, Tabok is held back by a lack of good Romulan talents. Um, the, the concept of Tabok is nice. Um, very thematic play. I, I got nothing against it. But how about instead of a Romulan talent, we go for Tabok supporting like crew or Romulan tech, even Romulan weapons. Tabok could 
could go for anything other than talent. How about field one Romulan upgrade at a cost of one less SP? Uh, Vrax, sure, we need somebody to bring in Romulan bodyguards, but or Riemann bodyguards, but Riemann bodyguards are so expensive. Um, I would have made... Why not let him run Riemann bodyguards for free, but then restrict Vrax to a Romulan ship? Or even restrict him to the Riemann Warbird. Then he's got to be on a Riemann ship to run Riemann bodyguards. That would work, too. Uh, Tal. Um, Tal works. Um, I mean, I, I would get rid of the restriction on that he can't do free actions but I do understand why he's there uh, just so you can't do a battle station and then cloak uh, but with everything in the game I just let Tal uh, perform a battle station action uh, and that works that's a three skill two point card to do a battle station action so there are significantly more broken captains there and nothing about Tal screams breaking the game there. Uh, Jamel. Just limited to the drone and the drones hurt. They're not great. Um, I just say... Target an opposing ship. The target ship rolls minus two attack dice this round. That way you can run the drone as a support thing and you're hurting them because what happens is that you target a ship and that ship decides to shoot somebody else. And that doesn't help anything. You are now held back by... You've wasted your action. And now they're just going to shoot a different ship. And you haven't done anything. So at least here, if you do an action, fine. Target an opposing ship in this ship's primary firing arc. That's holding you back a little bit. But then the target ship rolls minus two attack dice. Okay, done. Okay, Miroc. Um, Miroc essentially is a free scan because you're only going to run Miroc on a on a Romulan ship. Um, I'm okay with Miroc. Uh, I I mean I I can argue that Miroc should be a one point card, but. Uh, and I guess that's what I'll argue. Mirak should be a one-point card. Romulan Captain. Um, you know what? I'm okay with Romulan Captain as well. Flipping your cloak to make them roll minus two attack dice, that's also fine. Uh, Centurion. It's a one-point card. What are you really going to argue about? Um, uh, Herein should not be an action disable. Uh, how about just uh, start of combat phase or even start of activation phase disable one of your crew upgrades to gain plus one attack dice this round uh yeah place a disable token on one of your yeah i'm okay with that uh, i prefer time tokens i think that's a better version of disabling but um so really i'm gonna say start of combat phase place three time tokens on one of your crew upgrades to gain plus one attack dice this round okay and the last captain mercifully bokra if bokra is on the scout vessel uh you get plus one attack die and one plus one defense die i mean you don't really care about the attack die unless you're shooting say borg um care about the defense die a bit um this does need to say when attacking 
roll plus one attack die when defending roll plus one defense die if you have a scan token blah 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 blah, blah. um again i'd like it to be either a conversion mixed in there or a re-roll but it's a one point captain so i'm not gonna argue um Bokra works for me um Oh, I'm sorry. I lied. Garib is also here, but Garib works. Um, Garib is is a viable captain for the drone ship. So, anyway, uh, those are your Romulan captains fixed. Uh, several of them do work as uh, as printed. Uh, those are more so the new Romulan captains from the faction pack in the animated series. Uh, I really do hope we get more Romulans, maybe some Star Trek Picard Romulans, maybe some, uh, well, we'll see if we get any Romulans showing up in Prodigy or Animated Series, uh, who knows, um, but I think there's room for more Romulans still to come out in this game, uh, and when they do, hopefully, some more talents, because that's where the Romulans really do need their help. Uh, anyways... Thank you all for watching, and until next time, go drink some Romulan ale. We'll see you around the shipyard. Take care, guys.